Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for bringing us to our Bible study once again today. We pray, O Lord, that as we study today, your spirit will impress and write and plant the word in our hearts in Jesus' name. We pray, O Lord, that you use the word to mature and strengthen us. And your help us to be victorious in our Christian lives in Jesus' name. Where we are weak, make us strong. If anyone has done something that displeased you, we are praying you forgive and you cleanse and you make such people to be stable and steadfast in the Lord in Jesus' name. Plant our feet on a solid rock that will never fall. In Jesus' name we pray. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember them that are in bonds as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. That reminds us of the love of God in the heart of the believer. And it calls that brotherly love. That is love in the family of God. Love among the children of God, brothers and sisters. If we are born again, that love is already shared abroad by the Holy Ghost in our heart. Now he says obviously, if Christ is in you, that love is in you. It says, let it be manifested. Let brotherly love, which has started at the point of conversion, let it continue. And then he now gives us some practical details and examples of that love. He's telling us not to be forgetful to entertain strangers. In those early days, there were believers that moved from one place to the other, and they were strangers to those believers they were meeting for the first time. At that time, it wasn't common to have hotels and for people to have some guest houses where they could stay. And so the believers who are being told, don't forget, there will be brothers and sisters, they may be strangers to you, they will need accommodation, they will need some hospitality, do not be forgetful, entertain them, help them, lodge them, and be of uh, assistance to them. And for the encouragement, he said, others who have done that in the past, unknowingly, they have entertained and they have been hospitable to angels. At that time, there were some believers still suffering persecution. And some of them were in prison. And so the apostle was telling them, you'll remember, those who are in bonds feel like they feel. Weep with those who are weeping, as they rejoice with those who are rejoicing. Those in bonds, be as if you are bound with them. Apostle was weeping, and for those who suffer adversity, persecution, affliction, 
Do not act as if you are not concerned. You will be yourselves in the body with them. Atifo, I want you and call you. I want you and Nilara. I want you and you and you and you and you and you. If you manifest that kind of love, whatever you do to the least of the brethren, you are doing unto the Lord. In Matthew chapter 25, reading from verse 34, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Why? For I was an hungered, and ye gave me meat, I was a thirst, and ye gave me drink, I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Can you do it? Nitori a big pami, and you see for million yet. Naked and ye clothed me, I was sick and ye visited me. I was in prison and ye came unto me. Mo wa ni o o, e yisi daso bo mi. Mo se a isan, e yisi bojo to mi. Mo wa ni no tubu, e yisi to me wa. You will see how the Lord refer to these people that all their acts of kindness, all their deeds of goodness. And all their hearts, all their acts of hospitality, although they did it to people, they did it unto him. Wari gaga bi oluwa tin soni pa we ya wa yipe. Bogo i wa isore ati ore ti wan ta we ni ati owo ore ti wan na si wa. Bi oti leje pe awo elu mira ni wan sefu oluwa ni wan sefu. In fact, they were surprised and they began to ask him, "When did we see you to do that to you?" In verse forty, the king shall answer and say unto them, "Verily I say unto you, in as much as ye had done it." Unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. And not till I am one, you back, but why you want some burial or will happen, but when you are washing, I want to come with you for near South Goji or by your sit down. You'll see for a pay, no turning more with me. Ni wa bi ayiti se fun okan ninu awon ara kunrin mi wa ti o kere ju lo ayiti se fun mi you might wonder and you might say i don't think i will ever meet an angel and be hospitable and lend the helping hand to an angel the lord is saying you don't need to meet an angel you can do something that will get into your record and it will be higher than doing it for an angel do it for the least of the brethren in the kingdom of god you do it unto me the master of angels enu le ma ya wi pe ni jowo ni wa se alabapade angel lati se lalejo so go lu wa so wi pe o ko ni lo lati pade angel kankan iwo sa na wo ore tabi owo ikanu si kan to kere ju ni lo ninu awon ara kunrin mi iwo ti se fun mi and then in acts of the apostles chapter 9 ninu si awon apostle ori kesan verse 5 ese ikanu e verse 4 and he fell to the earth and he had a voice saying so so why persecutest thou me ese ikerin o si subu lule o gbo ohun tin fo si pe solu solu ese ti won se ninu nibi ni si mi and he said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. And so you see what Saul did to the believers. It was like he did it to the Lord. Be kind to the believers who are being kind to the Lord himself. Be hospitable to the believers who are being hospitable to the Lord. Show practical love to the believers so shame practical love to the Lord. But now you see in Hebrews chapter 13. Immediately after teaching on practical love among the brethren, the apostle now begins to speak on marriage being honorable. And you can see the connection. Verses 1 to 3 talking about love among the brethren and then verse 4 telling us how to to keep marriage, which is actually uh, something that the Lord had given in among him among human beings to show a kind of love, keep that pure and keep that holy and keep it honorable. <laughs> In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed undefiled. But all mongers and adulterers, God will judge. You will see in this verse 4 a balance of the teaching of the word of God. 
you will see the positive side you will see the negative side uh, let me give you this illustration for example if you see a man and he has hands that are too long it's good to have a hand if the hand is too long it becomes an abnormal man if you find a man that has a nose that is uh, so big as big as long as uh, you know from the tip of the fingers uh, to the elbow you know that is abnormal when you take a doctrine of the bible and you elongate it, you prolong it, you exaggerate it, you make it very big, that it gets out of proportion, out of size, it becomes abnormal, it becomes false doctrine. <laughs> That's why you find in this verse, for it's very balanced. On the positive side, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. And then the other side of the coin, it tells us, but all mongers and adulterers, God will judge. As we look at that verse, we are going to divide the study into three. God's honor of marriage without immorality. Number two, God's great judgment against immorality. Number three, godliness and freedom from immorality. Let's look at number one, God's honor of marriage without immorality. It says in verse 4, marriage is honorable in all. And when you look at the word of God, you need to interpret in a balanced measure. I want you to look at the word all. Obviously, it's talking about human society. It's talking about people. It's talking about people that have life and people who have been born who have a desire to give birth to others and they do that legitimately in marriage. Now, marriage is honorable in all. What does that mean all? It cannot be all infants. Marriage is not honorable among infants. It cannot be among toddlers. Marriage is not honorable in toddlers. It cannot be among adolescent teenagers who do not know their left from their right, who are just growing up in life. It's not honorable among them. Marriage is honorable in all who are matured physically, spiritually, and they have something doing. They can keep themselves and they can keep a man or keep a woman. Marriage is honorable in all. We need to understand that God himself has placed honor upon marriage. He placed a special honor on marriage because it was a false institution that God had after the creation of Adam and Eve. Genesis chapter 2. See the honor that God himself put upon marriage. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. In verse 22, and the reward the Lord had taken, the Lord God had taken from the man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. 
ti o muni akorin na ma obirin o si mu to okorin na wa and so you will find here think about the time of that marriage iwo na wa ro nipa akoko ti a se gbe yawo yi it was before the fall ele se le saju isugbe which means then marriage was not because of the fall of man it is not because of the sin of man before the fall when man was still holy in the purity that god had made him in god instituted marriage he honored marriage therefore o wa tu ma si wi pe igbe yawo ki si aba jade si subu ti eniyan subu si waju isubu eniyan nigba ti eniyan si wa ni mimo ati ninu pipe iwa re ni olorun se idasile igbe yawo yen ni pe olorun fi ola fun igbe yawo and look at the place where god himself honored that marriage in the garden of eden before the fall where all the beauty of the glory of creation was centered it was a very crown that showed how great how beautiful the things the lord had made the time and the place where god instituted that marriage showed very clearly that he honored marriage iwo wo biti igbe yawo na ti sele o sele ninu ogba edeni iyan ni pe ni biti ewa ogo ati ola olorun tin joba eleni wi pe olorun fi ola ti o ga ti o si polopolopo fun igbe yawo tori pe o lo se idasile re now we see that god the father or not marriage let's look at god the son himself Ari, jesus christ our lord and savior ari pe olorun baba o fi ola fun iya fun igbe yawo ni baye wa je ke awo olorun omo jesu christi bi o se fola fun igbe yawo john chapter 2 ninu johanu ori keji looking at verses 1 and 2 ese ikin ni ati keji and the third day there was a marriage in cana of galilee and the mother of jesus was there and both jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage ni jo keta a si nse igbe yawo kan ni cana ati galilee iya jesu si nbe nibe a si pe jesu ati awon omo eyin re pelu si bi igbe yawo and in verse 11 this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him ni ese iko kan la akose si ami yi ni jesu si se ni cana ati galilee When you think about the many miracles that Jesus performed, and you think of the reason why he performed those miracles, that there was supernatural signs to prove that this is the Messiah, this is the Anointed One, this is Christ the Savior, and the very first sign he will give to show the people that I am the expected one. He gave that sign in the marriage in Cana of Galilee. He honored marriage. He said. mi meri ri ti o han pe Jesu ni Messiah o ni Christi o ni eni ti a o fi se bo fun ese araye an mi pe o ni Messiah ise iyalu akoko yi lo se ni bi igbe yawo ti a se ni kana ti Galilee in Ephesians now chapter 5 ninu Ephesus bayi ori karun you know that all scripture is given by inspiration of God o ma pe gbogbo ewe mi ma ni abi fun ni pa emi si Olorun you know that this came from the Holy Spirit himself o si ma pe leyi gan lati ode mi ma gan lo ti wa what did the Holy Spirit lead Paul the apostle to write concerning marriage. He tells us in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 25. Or once love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and he gave himself for it. And then he tells us in verse 28 so men so ought men to love their wives. as their bodies he that loveth his wife loveth himself o to so fun ani ese ikeji din logbon pe be ni o to ki awon okunrin ki o ma feran awon aya won gege bi awon ara awon ti kara won eni ti o ba feran aya re o feran awon ti kara e in but this is a great mystery but i speak concerning christ and the church ese ikeji le logbon asirin la ni eyi sugbon emi so ni pa ti christi ati ti ijo here is the holy spirit telling us that the relationship between christ and his church is like into that of the husband and the wife making use of marriage as a pure symbol as a good symbol to show us the relationship eternal relationship between christ and his church ni ni apostle so ni pa iba se po ijo ati christi ti o wa nfi igbe yawo se apere mimo Ele ti o si apere aye raye nipa igbe nipa igbe yawo tabi asepo tin be laarin Christi ati ijo re How this shows us very clearly then as God the Father honors marriage Jesus the son of God honors marriage and the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost also honors marriage Ele lo wa fi wa lo fi han wa gbangba gege bi Olorun baba se fi ola fun igbe yawo Olorun omo Jesu Christi o fi ola fun igbe yawo emi mi mo fun rara re o wa lowo si igbe yawo the point is this if the father the son the holy ghost the trinity 
If that's God, the Godhead, honors marriage, then we, the children of God, we ought to honor marriage. It means we should not do anything that will dishonor marriage. Number one, in doctrine, we should never dishonor marriage. Number two, in the church in general, we should not dishonor we should not be little. We should not relegate marriage to the background. We should not be negative to marriage in the church. Number three, we should not dishonor. We should not destroy the marriage of any individual. If we honor it, we're not going to destroy it. And God honors marriage in all. Therefore, as a member of the church, as a child of God, you will be very careful. You do not tamper with the family of anyone in the church or even in the society. So then it is very clear that if we love God, if we honor God, you will love what God loves, you will honor what God honors, you will hate only what God hates, then are you manifesting that you are children of God? We come back to Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. Let the church, let the honor God has put on marriage, let it remain. And there is one way we are going to honor marriage. It says the bed must remain undefiled. Because all mongers and adulterers, God will judge. That leads us to point two in our study. God's great judgment against immorality. God's great judgment against immorality. He tells us, all mongers okay. and adulterers, God will judge. Very clearly then, anyone that dishonors marriage, through immorality, through fornication, through adultery, dishonors God. And then God says, he will judge him. Malachi chapter 3 verse 5. Malachi chapter 3 verse 5. And I will come near to you to judgment. And I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adult idol, adulterers. Here we can see the attitude of God. He will be swift, he will be quick in judging the sorcerers and the adulterers. He puts them in the same group, in the same team of the people that are going to receive the fairy judgment of God. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 5. Ephesians 5 5. For this ye know that no homonger, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. 
tabi olojuko koro ti se olubarisa ti yo ni imi kan ni ijoba christi ati ti olorun the apostle was telling the believers he said it's no secret everybody knows this everybody should know this apostle in so gba ngba wi pe oro ti mo so nipa re ki si aheso eleyi si oro asiri kan gbogbo eyan lo ya ko meleyi he was telling them that if you belong to the church at ephesus and you are living in adultery and you are living in fornication you do not have any inheritance in the kingdom of christ neither do you have inheritance in the kingdom of god you'll just be a nominal bench warmer in the ephesians church and you will not get to heaven o so fun wa gba gba pe ti o ba je ikan lara awon ijo to wa ni efesu sibe sibe to wa je alagbere tabi pansaga pe o daju gba gba pe o ko ni ni ipe kan ni ijoba christi oko ni ni ipe kankan ni ijoba olorun se ni wa ka ma ba won kun jo o ni nkan kan se ni ijoba olorun and he said in verse 6 let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things adultery fornication covetousness and such like because of these things cometh the wrath of god upon the children of disobedience ese ikefa e ma se je ki eni ke ni fi oro asata yin je nitori nipa se nkan won yi agbere pansaga ojukoko ati ruba won ni ni ibinu olorun se nbo wa sori awon omo ala igboran in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 8 ninu corinthians kini ori kewa ese ikejo neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day 3 and 20000 be ni ki awa ki o ma se se agbere gege bi awon miran ninu won ti se ti egba mo kan la le egbe run eniyan si subun ni ijo kan now you will see the attitude of god and if you really are on the side of the lord if you have the mind of christ if you have the spirit of god you will not take adultery fornication with a light hand you will not be little it and you will not say what is it that uh, we have done that nobody else has done before it was so serious that in one single day 23000 died among the children of israel and went to hell because of immorality because of fornication and adultery so ba je pe ni toto ni o wa ni ha ti oluwa to ferun oluwa ti o si ni okan christi o ko ni ma foju kere oro pansaga tabi agbere tabi ko ma fowo ye pere mu pe en ki la se telo mi o ti seri tori pe e se agbere ati pansaga ti awon omo israeli se ni ojo kan e gba mo kan la le egberun eniyan subun ni ojo na and in first corinthians chapter 6 ninu corinthians ni ori kefa verses 9 and 10 ese ikesan ati ikewa no ye know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with man kind no thieves no covetous no drunkards no revilers no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of god eyin ko ma pe awon ala iso to ki yo jogun ijoba olorun ki a ma tan yin je ki si awon agbere tabi awon aborisa tabi awon pansaga tabi awon ala ilera tabi awon tin fi okunrin ba ra won je tabi awon ole tabi awon loju kokoro tabi awon omuti tabi awon elegan tabi awon aloni lowo gba ni yo jogo ijoba olorun na yo si The greatest thing that can happen to you or happen to me is to enter the kingdom of God. O je mo pe on to lo la to ga ju lo to le sele si o ati se mi na oni pe ka wo ijoba Olorun. That's greater than being a pastor of a church. Elei ma ga ju pe ke eyan oje olusu agbe ijoba. It's greater than being a worker in the church. Iyan ga ju pe ke eyan oje ose ni ijoba. It's greater than being called the member of deep alive. O ga ju pe ke eyan kan je omo ijoba deep alive. The greatest thing that can happen to you or happen to me is for God to open the door of the kingdom of God and say come in. He inherit the kingdom of God. That's the greatest thing that can happen to all. On to ga ju lo to lo la ju lo ti Olorun le se fun ati femi na oni pe ti a ba de itawura ni ki olorun ko si sile ku fun e pe ma wo lebo wo lebo o to ga julo ni pe ki olorun ko gba wa sini ijoba re the greatest evil the greatest danger the greatest calamity that can happen to me or happen to you is for god to say you can be a pastor but i don't want you in my kingdom you can be a worker you can be a member of what they call deeper life you can remain there i allow you to remain there but i will never allow you to enter the kingdom of god that's the greatest calamity that can happen to you happen to me ajalu ati da mo ati ibanu je to ga lo laju lo to le sele si mi ati eti o le sele si iwo na ni pe ki olorun fi aye gba ayan ninu ijo pe o le je olusa asan ninu ijo tabi ko ojo se ninu ijo tabi ko oji omo ijo ti an pe ni dipa sugba pe wa wu orun yen mi o ni fa aye gbo lati wo be ajalu nla ni to ba sele si you if you or i anyone if we commit fornication or adultery and no man knows about it and we keep our position as pastor 
as worker, as member in the church. And we think we're doing well. After all, I'm still the pastor. After all, I'm still the leader. And we do not get to heaven is the greatest eternal calamity that can happen to anyone. Be very careful. We must be free from adultery, free from fornication, if we're going to get to the kingdom of God. Why is it very serious to commit fornication adultery? Number one, it makes some believers around us blaspheme the name of God. But as well be saying, you say you are born again. You say you are going to deeper. You say you believe in holiness. Look at this now. It will make those unbelievers to blaspheme the name of the Lord. When you do it, it's a serious Matter. Number two, it will drag the reputation of Christ and the reputation of the church into the mold. Number three, it makes us to forfeit our relationship and fellowship with God. The assurance of salvation, you will lose it. And the joy of salvation, rejoicing that you belong to the Lord, you will lose it. Your name will no more be in the book of life. Therefore, it makes us to lose the power and the privilege of ministry. You see, brothers and sisters, the words you are hearing from me, the ordinary words, except they are impregnated by the Holy Ghost, energized by the Holy Ghost, filled with the Holy Ghost, except the Holy Ghost will make use of them like arrows coming into somebody's heart, it will not have any effect at all. Therefore, if a person like me, for example, just a preacher, if uh, he commits adultery or fornication, maybe the church doesn't know. He'll keep on preaching, he'll keep on speaking empty words, it will have no power. It will save no soul. It will not be effective on anybody. He might be there as a figurehead, but the power, the privilege of ministry has been taken away. That's why adultery, fornication is a serious matter. <laughs> Number five, the reason why God is very serious about it is because it hurts your loyal wife or your faithful husband. The one who has been keeping herself and saying, no, I will not allow that to happen to me because I, I want to be loyal to my husband. If the husband now, that the wife is trying to keep herself, becomes unfaithful, it hurts the wife to the death of her heart. That will be very difficult to comfort that woman. <laughs> Number six, it makes us to lose the respect and the honor and the trust of our own children. Number seven, we lose the credibility that we have with the leadership of the church, the church that has been respecting us before, uh, giving us assignment before. Oh, the church will now say, we don't know that's how sister so-and-so is. We don't know that's how brother so-and-so is. You lose credibility with the leadership of the church. Number 
ase bi ara kunrin bayi se burutoni ase bi ara berin bayi se burutoni a mu o padanu ola ati yi to ni la re yet you bring shame on christianity as a whole e kejo ni pe wa wa ko itijun la ba gbogbo esin christian la ba you hinder the repentance of sinners to be converted e ke so ni pe wa mu ide na ba awon elese lati ronuku wa da we say why are we going to repent the people that are preaching to us to repent they themselves we didn't know they were doing the things they are telling us to repent from why should i repent you will hinder the repentance of sinners and if they go to hell because of your sin it will better you are not born awon ala igbagbo ti won ti e fe ro oluku wa da tele ni gba ti won gba guru e wa di baje re won ni ki lo wa wa nbe awon ti eni a ro oluku wa da na n ta wa na se ni won se awon elese won o de ni ro oluku wa da wa wa di won lowo ti won ma ro oluku wa da ti an ba lo sorun apadi iwo fun ara re okay mo number 10 it exposes you to the danger of contracting gonorrhea or aids or a deadly disease e ke wa ni pe yo mu ki oku arun atosi tabi atosi elero tabi arun ko gbogun ti won pe ni hedi iwo ga wa ko number 11 it weakens other believers who are facing temptation iko kan la ni pe a ko irewe se ba awon ni gbagbo mi ran ti won doju ko yi dan wo da so i'm saying if god is helping brother so and so he will help me i will stand if god is helping sister so and so who the husband has run away and they still expecting the husband and the husband is not there now and she is taking her stand if god is helping her god will help me then this person hears the person that he thinks god is helping has fallen into sin the sister that he thinks god is helping been as funny to him all yeah he will say if those people have done it i cannot survive arabirin to ti je pe iwo ni orisun mo lokan le fun tele ti o tin gbadura ni kokoko pe olorun ti o ba le ran arabirin bayi lowo eni to je pe oko re kan fi sile to si nro ninu igbagbo de igba ti oko re yo pada wa to si nfa rada to nfa to je mi ma si oluwa ti ru arabirin be to ngbadura si oluwa to ba wa gbo bi pe olo wu wa idi baje yi eni ya wa sori ko pe eh ti eni bayi ba le se emi na le duro ngba na number 12 is very serious it makes satan to be happy and to laugh at god and to laugh at christ and say christ come here come here you say you died on the cross you say you saved those people and you say that your blood has power to save my own temptation is stronger than your blood do and look at them look at this one look at this one look at this one i made them to fall and all these demons will be laughing at christ saying after all christ has no power when you do something that makes satan to laugh at god and laugh at christ and laugh at the sacrifice on christ of calvary you've done something so very bad you see now why god is unhappy about it okay je la eleyi buru lopo lopo o ni pe wa fi aye gba inu satan lati dun en to je pe ngan ota olorun ni ni gere to ba ri oto osubu sinu ese agbere tabi pansaga a sewo si christ pe ma wo ikan ninu awon to so pe o ti ra pada o na lo ti subu yakata yi o de so pe ejere lagbara o mo pe da wo temi lagbara jejere lo a pe awon emi okoko egbe re lati ma fi jesus se yeye wi pe irubo jesu lagbara lori awon eniyan na nitori na to ba lo nu ese agbere ati pansaga ti o ta olorun ti satan satan wa fi christ se yeye o se nto buru lopo lopo i believe we will overcome the blood of jesus is strong will overcome because the christ sent us into us and we keep on reading the bible and we are praying and we depend upon the lord he will keep us he will keep us in jesus name ti a den ka bibeli ti a ngbadura nitori pe o nje asegun yo se wa ni asegun oruko jesus we look at point number 3 godliness and freedom from immorality a wo koko keta bayi iwa bi olorun ati omi ni ra kuro ninu iwa iri in hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 marriage is honorable in all and the bed on defile ki igbe yawo ki oni ola laarin gbogbo eniyan ki akete si je ala ile iri look at that part and the bed on defile wo iha yi dada o ki akete si je ala ile iri forget the past start from today gbagbe nto ti koja lo bere latoni whatever your backslide in the past forget and start from today bo ti e ti sako lo to ti pe inda tele bere loni and come to make a new resolution a new kind of covenant with the lord almighty ko wa se pinu otun ati ma je mu otun pelu olorun olodumare that the bed will be undefiled pe akete re oni ile iri you will not sleep anywhere that you will do something that the public cannot hear about pe orun oni kun o tabi ko ka o ma bi kan ti wa asusi be ti da o je gogo ninu ile re in another person's house ninu ile elomira in an hotel ni ile tura when you travel out of town ni gba to rin re wherever you may find yourself 
hotel, you make up your mind that the bed will be undefiled. Why are you doing that? Because you have something to guard, you have something to keep. What are you keeping? What are you guarding? Number one, you have your soul to guard and to keep. You never die in soul. If you have been redeemed by the Lord, if you have been washed in the blood of the Lamb, and if there is a place you know is prepared for you in heaven, you want to preserve, you want to guard these souls that have been saved, it will not be polluted again by the sin of fornication or adultery. Number two, your salvation. That the salvation you have got nothing will take it away from you. Salvation is greater than money. It's greater than property. It's greater than anything you can have in the world. And the greatest of gifts coming from Christ through Calvary that the Lord has given to you. You want to keep and guard it so that nothing will take it away from you. Number three, our relationship with God. Adam and Eve lost that in the Garden of Eden. Think about such a relationship that we should be called the children of God. That we should be called the sons and the daughters of the King of Kings. That we should have the privilege and say, Our Father, which art in heaven. That we will live within us and will walk in his way. At any time we have any need, we can go to the throne of grace and we can ask him for anything that we need. Such a relationship you need to guard, you need to keep, and if you are going to guard it, there will be no fornication, there will be no adultery, there will be no immorality. Number four is our rewards in glory. We've been singing about heaven. We've been talking about heaven. Some of us have had dreams on the rapture. And some of us will, will, will remember heaven every time. And we know that that day will come when it will reward us in glory. For all that reward in glory, you will lose in a moment of time because of the pleasure of sin. Number five, what we have to get, the deposit of the spirit and the power of God in all. They look at the Holy Spirit that is given to us, the abiding comforter. The power of the Holy Ghost. That same power that manifested itself in the life of Jesus Christ and he said the works I do ye shall do also. We need to get that one by keeping ourselves away from adultery, away from fornication. Number six, our privilege in ministry. Have you ever thought about it? Even for you to stand on this pulpit like this, before thousands of people, even if it is to only make announcements, even if it is to come here and sing a solo, if it is to come here before thousands of people and lead such the scripture, a great privilege indeed. And uh, this is a privilege that many, many other people are looking forward to. There sometimes uh, some people they meet me. They are outside a deeper life Bible church. And then they will say, one of them told me he had a dream. And in that dream, he saw me. And then he was standing by my side. And he was so very happy. And then he said, I took a big Bible in hand. And he wanted to just help me carry the Bible. And then come to a large congregation. Then he woke up. Then he will tell me he became sorrowful. Then he will tell me, Pastor, please give me the interpretation of that dream. Since I am not in your church, should I come to your church and say, well, if you come, you are coming and say, member. He said, what? But I had a dream. They look at it as a great privilege. And for those of us who are here, and the privilege already is in our hand, ah, I pray that this privilege, nothing will take it away from your hand in Jesus' name.
awon miran ti ri oluso agotan ikan ninu won ti le ri won ni jokan to so wi pe mo ma lalani ninu ala mi mo wa ri pe e duro bayi emi na wa do legbe yin o wa da je pe mo ran yin lowo lati ba yin gbe bibeli nla kan bi mo le ti ri pe agbe bi mo gbe bibeli nla na a wa ni waju opolopo eniyan lojiji mo kan taji ni bi mo le se taji bayi banu je wa wa nu okan mi e je fun mi ni tun ma laye ma de oluso ta so fun pe to ba wa si jo ti wa 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 si be gege bi omo ijo ni on ti awa ni gege bi anfani lati ma be gbe gbe run awon eniyan soro awon eniyan yi nwo ni ta bi olanla awata ni adura mi ni pe ola wa ko ni bo riye pe number 7 our testimony you need to keep it or you need to guard it ekeje ni eri wa alati pa ma ki atoju re dada number 8 is our family you know if you get into this something like this you can scatter your family scatter your children lose the respect of your family that precious family the lord has given you where you are rejoicing there is love in your family keep that family get that family run away from this other thing because it will make you lose your family o le padanu re ki iyawo gba bi kan lo ka won mo fanta nitori pe to ba lo lowo si awon nkan won yi yo da gbogbo ebi re ru nitori eleyi lo fin lati su ara re ku ninu awon nkan won yi ki ife ko le ma tesu wa jinu ebi re number 9 our health e ke so ni ilera wa because uh, diseases dangerous deadly diseases are now being transmitted by fornication and adultery if you want to keep your health you must run away from adultery and fornication nitori pe laye odi oni iku ti di meji e pin ni aisan ko gbo ogo tin kiri gbogbo aye nitori ase agbere ati pansaga yi to ba be pa ilera re mo o lati sa fun ese pansaga ati agbere we keep our wealth and resources a pa oro ati isura wa mo our reputation a pa ola wa mo and 12 our future our destiny in eternity ekeji la ni pe ojo iwaju wa aye raye wa ni bi orun wa ta nlo how are we going to be able to keep ourselves from this immorality and from fornication and adultery ba o la se wa le gbara wa lowo ese agbere ati pansaga yi in matthew chapter 5 ninu matthew ori karun reading from the Verse 27. Here, for that it was said of them by them of old, thou shalt not commit adultery. Eh, it is God that we find our right by the way. He walk with God and say, "Pansa ga." But I say unto you that two servants looked on a woman to lust after her, had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Uba, eh, me we find him. Be an ekani ti oba wo bereka lati se ife kufesi. And if thy right hand offend thee, thy right hand offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members shall perish, and not that thy whole body shall be cast into hell. Be oju o to re ba mu o kose yoga de ki o si sonu o sa le re fu o ki e yara re ka. If somebody is as uh, useful to you as your eye, profitable to you as your eye, dear to you as your eye, precious to you as your eye, if he is uh, leading you to commit immorality, leading you to have loss, leading you to have thoughts that will make you go into sin, cut off from him, cut off from her. It is profitable for you to cut her off and enter into life without the advantage of joining together with her or with him, rather than you have him, you have her, and you have all the things you are doing together. Then you go to hell. Bi eni keni ba so won fun e tabi to seye bi lo fun e gege bi oju otun re ti eni na wulo lopo lopo gege bi oju otun re se wulo fun to je pe ninu gbogbo asepo yin a ma mu okan re fa si ife ku fi ati se ku se o san ko ta iru eni be nu ko iyago fun iru eni be o san fun e lati lo si orun lai ni gbogbo awon anfani ti wa ti ti o tin ni ba se po yin jade ju pe to wa ni gbogbo awon anfani ti e jo rin ninu ese ko wa lo sorun apadi in first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 22 Thessalonica ke ni ori karun ese ikeji le logo Abstain from all appearance of evil e ma atakete si on gbogbo ti o fi ti o jo ibi any picture that will bring immorality into your heart abstain awora ka wora to ma mu ewa iri wa sinu okan re yago fun any intimacy between you a man and a woman in the office or in your house or in the church any intimacy that will bring suggestions that are evil in your heart in your heart that you will not be able to control cut off that intimacy asepo wole wode to le wa ye laarin wo ati obirin kan ni bi ise re abi ninu le re 
tabi ninu ijo ele to je pe ti asepo yen ba tin tese waju yo mu e ko mo le sakoso aye re ti wa fi wonu iwa iri lo yago fun ire ni abe any film show any video because there are some people they say i don't believe what the church is saying don't watch this don't watch this i am a matured person all right any video any film that will bring suggestions of evil into your heart cut it off awora cinema tabi video kan ele to je wi pe awon kan ma so eh nti church nse mi o gbagbo emi o gba ti won gbo ni pa pe ka ma wo ti bi ka ma wo ton sugbon a e wa wo ran cinema tabi video kan to ba ma mu ete tabi ile pa lati se ife ku fe wa sinu okan re yago fun i believe we can live a victorious life mo gbagbo pe a le gbe aye asegun we can enjoy complete freedom from sin a le ni afani lati di omira pata 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 we make up your mind to have a good daily quiet time and prayer before the lord it will strengthen your fellowship with god ti o ba le se pe ninu okan re lati ni akoko idakeje lojojuma ti o lo dere ati akoko adura pelu oluwa yo mu ki igbagbo re lagbara you keep your hearts you keep your mind you keep your eyes away from any magazine away from any place any people that will bring temptation to lost in your life keep yourself away from them ma ma pa okan re aya re oju re mo kuro ninu awon iwe ati gbade gbabi magazine ati awon aworan tabi awon nkan to wa layi ka wa to le mu wa lo sini idewo from the beginning of a little thought that's the time to deal with that problem nigba ti eroyen ba ko so kule ninu okan re doju kan ero na because thoughts will produce action nitori pe ero yo mu wa lo sinu ise actions will lead to habit ise yo si mu ki o di wa wa habit when it becomes regular will form your character iwa yen ta ba nse lera lera a wa di baraku fun wa character will determine your destiny ba didi baraku to di baraku yen ni o pe nu bi to ti lo aye raye re may god make us free and keep us free in jesus name adura wa ni pe ki oluwa so wa do mi ra ko si pa wa mo ninu omi ni ra na ni oruko jesus job chapter 31 verse 1 job ori kokan le logbe ese ikini i made a covenant with my eyes why then shall i think upon him emi ti ba oju mi da ma je mu nje emi o wa se tejuma mundia but my brothers and sisters you need to take some decisions and those decisions will make you to actually cut off quite a lot of things ara korin ati ara berin mi o lati yan ipe no kan awon ipe no to ba yan yan oni o je o mu gbogbo awon nkan kan ku o ninu aye re sometimes you'll find uh, somebody will say i am a deeper life uh, brother and will say what work are you doing and he will say well i ride okada and uh, i take all those people who say uh, you are a member of this church you say yes i ride okada and you take all those women at your back pressing their chest on you when you break and you are still a christian well i'm trying to be a christian when the trumpet sounds we may not find you among us up there igba miran a ma si alagba pade awon kan ani christian lo n ta ba ni bo le ti je christian ti ani jo deeper se ni to to ni o ise ki le wa nse wa ni a awon to ma ngwa lukuku okada ise yen ni mo nse je o awon ti a de wa so pe se lo to ni ise christian ni oni be ni te ba de ngwa okada yin awon obirin a de joko leyin yin igba ti o ba joko leyin yin te ba te break e fara gbura e de ni christian ni ani a mo ngwi yanju lati je christian ni a ti pe ba dun boya la ri ru awon eyan be you find the ladies sisters they say they are deeper life they will sit at the back of that okada and they will hold the man like this with their breast and chest behind the man they are still deeper life eh, sisters if the trumpet sounds we may not find you among us over there igba mi re we awon mi da ti o la won ji omo deeper life awon sisi le ri ti won o joko leyin oga leyin okada wa tun wa di mo okun yen olokada yen wa ti nu awon ato yen wa ti mo leyin wa ta ba si ni se ma di pa ni wa lo ma di pa na ni e ba ba ori ta to ti pe ba dun boya la ri o nbe you need a covenant to make heaven o ni lo lati se pe ni lati do i'm talking about a serious matter oro to si le la so ni pa re it was a matter that made joseph when that woman wanted to commit sin with him he let his clothes and ran away he didn't stay there and said i'm still a believer i will manage if you are managing like that the trumpet may sound we may not find you up there ani an so ni pa nkan to je pe ni gba to wa so do joseph o ma nto se agbada re o so nu ni o sa sala fe mi re ki se poka joko nbe ko wa mo gbadura pe mo ndogbon ogbon wo lo nda 
If you are a man, you will make a covenant with your eyes. A covenant with your body. A covenant with your hand. A covenant with everything you have. That you will not meditate in an evil way with lust upon a maid. If a lady is sing sing, you will make a covenant with your eyes. A covenant with the members of your body. That you will not be so familiar with a man, it will be bringing evil suggestions to you, and then you already be practicing evil. And when you see the man, you are so helpless, you cannot resist evil. You will make a covenant tonight. You are going to be holy in the name of Jesus. In the trumpet shall sound now. Are you ready for the Lord? Do you think that just because we come to Bible study, we're all here, we're preaching, we're hearing, we're walking, we're serving, we're leading? Do you think that's enough to get to heaven? Do you think that's enough to My own desire is that I will not just preach in vain. I don't just want to be a preacher. I want to live a life privately and publicly that when the trumpet sounds by the grace of God, I still want to make it on that final and if you have already fallen into sin instead of managing and just saying I'm a worker, I'm a leader why don't you leave all those things aside and go to the very presence of God and dig deep and pray until the blood of Jesus will cleanse you once again you'll never remain, again, remain the same again and then the power of God will come afresh the purity of the Lord will come afresh you will know you are a real child of God after that if there is work to do fine if there is no work to do you will be waiting until we go to heaven so bad Let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. We are not looking for work, we are looking for how to get to heaven. We are not looking for position here, we are looking for how to get to heaven. And we are not running away from discipline here, I don't want them to hear, I don't want them to discipline me, I want to keep my work, I want to be serving. We are not looking for that here, we came here because this is the gateway to heaven. Look at your life. Open it before the Lord. Be transparent before the Lord. Activity will not take you to heaven. Being a pastor will not take me to heaven. And being a leader will not take me to heaven. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. You may run to another church and they make you a preacher, they make you a pastor. That doesn't take anybody to heaven. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. But there is power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power in the blood of the Lamb. He can cleanse you, he can cleanse me. He can purify you, he can purify me. He can make you holy, he can make me holy. He can change your life, he can change my life. He can put our feet on the way that goes to heaven. And make us faithful. And make us pure. And make us holy. Whether our wives are there or not there. Whether our husbands are there or not there. He can put that thing that hates sin in our hearts. That sister, you will not allow your manager, your boss to be fumbling with your body. You will know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And brother, you will not allow the devil to be 
making fun of you and ridiculing you and even laughing at Christ because of your action, you will live a righteous life, you will live a holy life that heaven will be happy about you. We can be holy. We can be righteous. But not all things are possible. And if you believe tonight, He will cleanse you. He will forgive you. He will strengthen you. He will empower you. You go out of this place in victory. And you will be triumphant in Christ.